EA Sports. It's in the game. So ProTac started with us being able to add up to nine people to a gang tackle, something that had never been done before. Uh, it ended up branching out into a lot of other areas. We knew we wanted it to be really authentic and, and really very realistic. That was a big goal. I mean, it, the fact that it ends up wrapping up so many features um, from blocking to tackling, um, it, it ends up, you know, kind of a dynamic technology that people can add on at different points and, and change the way the outcome of the play is affected. It's not just a bunch of people attaching and tackling the guy. It actually moves the pile dynamically based on how many people are there, how strong they are, how fast they were moving when they came in. So it ends up giving you a lot more of a physics-based feel, a lot more dynamic um, and realistic. When you see that eight-man tackle, you know, it, you've never seen it in a football game, one. You've never seen it in a sports game, two. And three, it's core to football. It's not a gimmick. And really, it's about kind of creating a lot more dynamic tackling and then it ended up you know, scaling out across the entire rest of the game. We literally, we brought up images of, of NFL action and one of the images we saw a lot was you know, these massive scrums. And we, we started off a lot of our presentations with this image. It was a shot of Eli Manning you know, getting wrapped up. I, I think it was with the Cowboys maybe? Yeah. Uh, you know, it, it was like eight or nine Cowboys trying to bring him down and it was a moment we've never had in the game before. So that image was kind of the catalyst for a lot of these different things happening in our product. And one of the cool things about the gang tackles too is that it's not just tackling, it's uh, offensive players can push the pile and defenders and there's a give and take. So, you know, it's really nine players all interacting on one play. So if, you know, you've got a small running back and a bunch of fullback comes up from behind, you can push the pile. And it's definitely something we've never had before. You see big running backs out there that just refuse to go down. They'll get pushed back 15 yards and the refs have to just stop the play because forward progress has stopped. So that's something we added with the same system and I think that's a big wow moment to the game. On top of all that, it's, it's control that we've never given consumers before. So, you know, the fact that we're doing such cool stuff visually and the fact that you're, you're going to see moments you've never seen in a Madden game and you can control them, I, I mean, I, I think it's pretty amazing. Uh, it's probably the biggest task we've ever done animation-wise. And I mean, I think it's paying off. It's the biggest change I can think of. And, Madden history in terms of a one-year jump in gameplay. It's not about, you know, just long animations that look pretty. It's making sure that they're authentic and they're realistic as well.